What is up guys, today we are back inside of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and today we're going to be reviewing each unit inside of the Wild West faction. Now, uh, the first unit is the Dynamite Thrower. So, uh, we're going to see how they do against a few clubbers. Uh, that's close enough, I guess. It's a little bit over uh, off of the money, but yeah, uh, as you can see, they kind of aren't that great. They look good. But they're not that good because they kind of just walk into the dynamite as you saw. Uh, because as soon as they fill the dynamite, they think that they're a melee unit. But since they threw it at the closest unit, uh, they just walk into the dynamite to fight the unit, basically. Uh, so I think that this would be a lot more uh, overpowered if they waited to hit the enemy. Uh, because, yeah, uh, they kind of didn't do much. And I just forgot that I actually have units don't die on. Uh, so that's not that good, uh, but uh, we're going to redo that real quick, uh, just so that way we can see what would have happened. So they throw the dynamite like that, and then it explodes, and then most of them die pretty much, and then the remaining units are able to just slaughter them. As you can see, we had a bunch of dynamite and only five clubbers died. Uh, so yeah, it's not that great against... Uh, melee units and then we're going to have a few ranged units and we'll be able to see with the ranged units as well that it's not that great however the spear throwers have poor accuracy so it appears that the dynamite throwers are just going to finish themselves off uh so yeah as you can see they kind of just blew them all uh blew all of them up so uh yeah that's why i kind of don't like this unit um and they're dead uh so yeah on to the next unit which, in my opinion, is also kind of disappointing. Uh, it is the miner, and uh, they again they look kind of cool, but I kind of find them useless sometimes. Uh, they take more than one spear without dying, but two is the limit, pretty much, which is impressive because the spear is a powerful uh, ranged weapon. Uh, so that's uh, kind of impressive. But as you can see, it just took two pickaxe swings to kill a spear thrower, which is one of the weakest units in the game, uh, with area of effect. So I don't really find it that good. Uh, we're going to have a small group of clubbers here to show the area of effect. And then we're just going to have the basic clubbers back there. Uh, but as you can see, they have decent area of effect. Uh, again, it's a lot. it looks a lot better than it really is. Uh, it also kind of takes them a while to swing the pickaxe again, so I kind of don't like this unit, just like the dynamite thrower. It just looks overpowered, but then it's not overpowered, uh, so it's, like, it's not even close to good. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't really like the miners. Uh, the cacti is the next unit. Um, we're going to try them against a few melee units but i don't think this is that this is going to go well uh and you guys will see in a minute why uh although they have uh, the cactus on uh their body they don't really do that well against melee units because it doesn't protect against melee strikes uh however they do have a special ability for ranged units which we're going to see in a minute uh but as you can see uh the melee units they're kind of destroying uh, the cacti, and I know that I did put a king down, so he's doing a lot of the work, uh, but the squires themselves as well, uh, they kind of are doing a lot of work too, uh, and yeah, they're all dead. So they do decent in groups, uh, so like if, if you're getting swarmed, they're kind of good sometimes, but there are better options, which we'll see in a minute. However, if we just have one cactus, which I'll place in a minute, and that is way too many archers, if we just have like six archers and one cactus, uh, it has a special ability that it can do, uh, which is really cool. Uh, as you can see, two of the arrows missed, but four of them hit, and if we take control of the cactus, it took no damage from that. Uh, and that's because the cactus bodysuit actually uh, cannot get damaged by uh, projectiles. However, you do need to be aware that everything that isn't protected by the cactus suit can actually get hit by projectiles. So, for example, the feet, the arms, and the head still can be hit by arrows or other projectiles. Uh, and if it's a big projectile, it 
kind of just goes through sometimes. For example, the ballista bolt, I tried it and it doesn't work. Uh, we'll show that in, uh, we'll show that right now. Um, so, if we have one ballista, uh, as we can see, uh, as soon as he fires it, uh, it goes in, up, oh, okay, apparently that was just a fluke that one time. Uh, so sometimes it protects against ballista bolts, it appears. Uh, however, they still do get knocked back a, a bit, uh, so it's pretty good. But if we have multiple ballistas, uh, like this, like if we have six ballistas, uh, unlike the six archers, I'm pretty sure that the cactus will die, or maybe not. It will just be invincible sometimes, and other, uh, not other times. So, um, sometimes it's invis invincible, sometimes it's extremely weak to the ballista, I don't know why. Uh, sometimes it just decides to get hit on the first volley. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty good against projectiles. Uh, on to the next unit, which is the Gunslinger. And the Gunslinger, uh is really good at uh, groups of units, so I would suggest using them against groups of units. So we're going to have a small group of squires, and when I say small, I don't mean small. So we're gonna have a group of squires, uh, and as you can see, the gunslingers are going to completely mow down the first rank, and pretty much all of them. Uh, they do take a while to reload their guns though, so you do have to be aware of that. Uh, and if they get off their second volley or not, uh, you have to wait to find that out. But as you can see, they just took out all of those squires, uh, and, uh, only three of them died. Which, I shouldn't really say only, or four of them died. Uh, I shouldn't really say only, seeing how there was five of them there. Uh, but yeah, they do pretty good. Uh, so against ranged units, though, they're not that great. And you'll see why, and then I'll explain what happens. Uh, so basically, those first two, uh, they just die. Um, there's not really much to explain about that. However, I, okay, apparently they won of, I don't know how they did that. Usually they don't win. Um, to be fair though, that was only half the price. We're going to do, uh, fully, uh, the amount. But as you can see, this time four of them died. Uh, so, uh, there's only one left and he took out five of them and then he died. So, the reason why this happens is because the, uh, the ranged units aren't walking forward, so they aren't getting into a group. And because of this, they aren't all dying, and only a few die at once, and the gunslinger's not good at, uh, groups. So, yeah, that's, they're not that great against ranged units. Next, though, we have one of the more overpowered units, which is the lasso. And the lasso is good because it's fast, and it's ranged. And it does a lot of damage. Uh, and it stops units from doing damage. And if the horse dies, the rider is still alive. And a bunch of other reasons. Uh, so as you can see, they're circling around, so they basically cannot get hit. They're, the horse is doing a ton of damage. The rider is throwing the lassos, making them unable to hit anything. Uh, and it's also doing damage. Uh, and then, yeah. That's kind of the battle. Um... Yeah, it's kind of just as easy as that. There's not really much to commentate on. Um, they kind of just zip around, sometimes lasso stuff, and then other times just run it over. Uh, so they're pretty good. Uh, they're, they're just a little bit good. Um, so we're going to have them against 10 archers this time, and I don't know if they do good against range, but apparently they do. Um, so, yeah. The archers kind of just got demolished. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, yeah, the lasso is overpowered. Uh, however, against uh, large units with a lot of health, they don't do that great. Uh, mainly because the lassos don't do a lot of damage. And if the horse gets stuck, um, well, it's not really doing damage. So, you're only getting a little bit of damage and then it takes forever. Or, uh, the, the enemy just kills them, as we can see here. Uh, so, yeah. On to the next unit, which is the lasso, or not the lasso, we just did the lasso, uh, the Deadeye. Uh, I was looking at the wrong thing there, and we're going to have them against a bunch of farmers. And this is a complete weakness, so do not expect them to win this. Um, however, the Deadeye does a lot of damage, but fires extremely slow. Uh, it has a cooldown of 4, however it also has to aim, which takes about 2 seconds. 
Uh, so that's an extra two seconds that it's not firing. So that's a six fire rate of seconds thingy. Okay, that just grammar did not work with me there. Uh, it took it takes about six seconds to fire, including that, and it has to reload the gun, which takes about one second. So that's like seven seconds. So even though it says three or four, it's really like seven. Um. So yeah, they don't do that well against um uh, against a bunch of units. However, if we have uh, a really uh, overpowered unit that has a bunch of health, such as the Ice Giant, and we have three Dead Eyes, they should be able to do this, or at least get close to doing this, uh, because, uh, like I said, they do a lot of damage per shot. Uh, it also appears that the Ice Giant is kind of broken, uh, so that's also kind of helping them. Uh, there we go. Oh, now he's starting to do stuff. Uh, so we're just going to take control of him. He's at about half health. Uh, which is really impressive, seeing how he has, like, thousands of health. Uh, we're just gonna kill that last dead eye real quick, though. However, if we have something weaker, uh, like the Skeleton Giant, I think they should do pretty good. Uh, I could be wrong, though. Uh, okay. Uh, the problem with the Skeleton Giant is that the bullets also kind of just go through him. Uh, but they can't do that forever. Uh, so as you can see, only a few rounds and the Skeleton Giant is dead. Uh, we can also do that with the King, which is another really strong unit. Uh, he'll also get destroyed immediately, pretty much. Um, so yeah, it's really good against high health units. Not so much against groups, though. Uh, against range units, they're also kind of bad. Um, so I wouldn't use them against range units. Uh, as you can see, it's just slowly picking off the units. It's a lot like the, uh, the, the Gunslinger, um where it's not that great against range units because it's only hitting a few at a time and it has a lot of cooldown. Uh, so yeah, it's not that great uh, at uh, the range units. Anyways, our last unit is the Quick Draw. And the Quick Draw uh, has a quick fire rate, uh, as you might expect. So we're just going to have a few clubbers, about 1,200 worth, uh, since he is also $1,200. Uh, I could have gotten another one, but yeah. We don't really need him. Um, and as you can see, he kind of has aimbot as well, uh, which is an interesting concept. Uh, I don't know where they got that from, but uh, it's interesting. Um, however, unfortunately, with a new update, he has to raise his gun on his first shot rather than just having it raised all the time. So his first shot always hits the ground. So that's one shot... Uh, wasted he fires about five or six shots i believe so at most that's only five shots hitting them so five units uh per reload and the reload takes about uh four seconds i would say uh so you have to wait a good amount of time uh to kill a few of them so against swarms not that great against single units however if we just have a line again it's kind of the same thing so i probably shouldn't have done that uh, but if we just have a few of them that are slowly coming to him, um, then he does pretty well. You might have also noticed that he has a backflip that he does when units get too close. Uh, but as you can see, he handled that pretty well. Um, but like I said last time, you could also probably see that he has a backflip. But not only does he have a backflip, he can also actually dodge a ranged unit attacks. So, we just have a bunch of spear throwers. One by one, they're going to throw their spears. Uh, that time, he's not going to dodge. He got really lucky there. Uh, but yeah, every so often, he can actually dodge. Uh, sometimes, he does not dodge, though. Uh, so yeah, then he's kind of dead. Uh, but yeah, he can dodge every so often. So that's pretty good. Uh, against high health units, he's not that great. Uh, the mammoth is kind of just going to destroy him. He also has to get kind of close. So if it's, if it's a melee unit, that could be a problem depending on how big they are. Anyways, time for the final rating. The dynamite thrower, by far the worst unit here. The miner, uh, it's it's not as bad as a dynamite thrower, but it's the second worst. Cactus, it's really good. I would say it's high up there. Uh, the gunslinger, it's decent. The lasso, extremely overpowered. The dead eye, it's kind of decent but i probably shouldn't say decent because it's really good and only in one of the only units that can actually take down uh high health units so i would say that that one's good and then the quick draw i would also just say it's good so the, so by far the lasso is the best 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the new channel, or you want to see some more Roblox or tabs. Everybody, peace out.